This is Twit. Devon in the UK. And I saw you in the chat room. Hi, Les. Hi, Leo. Nice to speak to you. Great to talk to you. Thank you for calling. First time? It is definitely, yeah. But I've been an avid listener for you for two years now for the iPods on my phone. That's wonderful. Well, thanks to the internet. It is definitely. I just one thing was before I go on to my question was I think the UK is very lucky with their internet because we don't have the problems that you have. We have such a, a very a varied um, competition here and uh, there's not a lot we can't have. Um, even on our mobile phones, we have 4G in most cities yeah. now and uh, 2G is no good. You know, we, everyone's on 3G now and so there's never a problem with internet. Cafes have internet, everything. It's just... Uh, Competition is the key. It really is. Uh, in a, uh, you know, if you can get a variety of internet service providers, you don't have to worry about net neutrality because, you know, somebody starts clamping down. Somebody else will say, "Well, you come over here, come to this side. We got a free and open internet over here." That's right, and a lot of it is free now. Um, I think uh, uh, British Telecom still own the lines, and you pay like fifteen yeah. pounds for the lines. I wish we'd done that here, where where the infrastructure were owned by local governments and then leased out to internet service providers. That would have been the best way to do it. But, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty, and we're stuck with what we've got. And the problem is we have, in most places in the United States, at best, two choices, your phone company or your cable company. And mm -hmm. they're both highly monopolistic, unfortunately. Well, we're quite lucky because we've got the phone company and uh, the TV company together. Now, is Callard and Bowser in Devon? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, somebody in the chat room is saying, but they are saying the best custard comes from Devon. Oh, yeah, Ambrosia. Devin knows how they make it so creamy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an inside joke in Devin. What can I do for you? <laughs> um, I was really disappointed with the Apple keynote because there was a rumor that they were going to bring out Touch ID on a mouse because I think the one thing ah. I love so much is Touch ID that I don't even know my passwords anymore. I have one password. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Yeah. Um, Apple with Keychain, they actually provide me the password. I just yeah. see what they said, and I click the button, and on my iPhone and on my Mac Mini, um, all i got to do is type in one password or press one button, and oh. I'm in. Um, but I just love it. So we're talking about on, on iPhones and now iPads, they have where the home button is, is also a fingerprint reader, and you only need put your finger on it. You don't need to press, and it's very accurate. Uh, very quickly determines who you are. And really, so much of what we do in the modern world relies on this, authentication, accurately identifying you. You know, the idea of passwords is new. I mean, uh, 100 years ago, nobody had a password. Maybe you had a password to get into the, you know, the speakeasy. But uh, <laughs> but there were no, there were no, th this whole idea of, of, we're not built this way to have dozens of passwords in our brain. And so this is all new, and it's all about authentication, about saying, somehow proving that you are who you say you are. And the fingerprint reader is a boon, and, and Apple's implemented it so well. Samsung has tried with the Galaxy S5 and the uh, Note 4, but theirs requires a swipe. It's not as mm -hmm. accurate. Supposedly, the Galaxy S6, which we'll, we'll see in a few weeks, has a similar just rest your finger on it a fingerprint reader, that would be good news. It would mean, for one thing, that Apple doesn't own the technology. Remember, Apple bought a company called Authentech, and we've thought for a long time that when they bought the company, they got the patents for Touch ID that works so very well, and that it might keep other companies from doing it. And this is this is our hope. This is your hope, Les, because yeah. you can't promise. Apple does what it does. And if it doesn't see a market for a fingerprint reader on a mouse, it's not going to do a fingerprint reader on a mouse, even if you and I and everybody else think it's a great idea. But, it, and this is where competition, again, right? If Samsung does indeed is indeed able to make a similarly accurate, reliable fingerprint reader without infringing on Apple patents, that's really good news. That means... That somebody will be able to make a, a mouse, and I, you know, if anybody, Samsung is notorious for trying everything. They're the opposite, opposite of Apple, right? Apple says mm. we're going to just do one or two things perfectly. Samsung says whatever you want, we'll make it anything you want. What do you want? And so uh, I think that could be very good news. Well, I'll watch with interest. Watch, and you should too. What happens with the Galaxy X S S6? Is if, if that's a good fingerprint reader, mm. if it works reliably, and then I think you could count on Samsung to put that everywhere. Including desktops, I agree.
Is there um, is there a way though of um, using your phone? At yes, the moment, your iPhone to uh, link to your Mac Mini. So Absolutely. You can straight in. Yes, there are a number of applications in the uh, App Store that will do this. Um, some do it by proximity, which might even be better. Uh, you've logged into your phone already, so your phone does know who you are. So some are using the Bluetooth LE to unlock your Mac. And then I have seen a number of Mac unlockers that use the fingerprint reader. So, you, so you're absolutely right. You don't have to do it on a separate device. Um, there's the Knock app, which I've had mixed... Uh, results with that will automatically unlock your uh, Mac when you get close with an iPhone or an iPad. Um, but let me see what uh, some of the other names are for these because there there's a, a few of these that use fingerprint to unlock your Mac. And I'm just trying to remember the names. I've tried a couple of them. It's just for security, really, because I do a lot of charity work and I have some confidential um, information on my computer. So uh, I always make sure that um, I have to log in my computer. Then I'll go away from my computer for That's great. 10 minutes. You know who um, does that? Uh, uh, Google does it on the Chromebook with Android 5.0. Uh, as you get, And so in a way, you don't really need the fingerprint because you have the phone. So yeah. even with that, but having a fingerprint would add an additional layer of protection that would be marvelous. Somebody's yeah. telling me there's a, something called Mac ID that will do this. I, th I have seen at least two in addition to Knock. Um, MacID.co, unlock your Mac with just your fingerprint. Uh, haven't tried it, but boy, what a great idea, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. love this. Now, you'd have to obviously put it on... Both your some software on your Macintosh, the Mac ID software on your Macintosh, and then have the Mac ID app on mm. your iOS device. It will allow you to establish uh, a connection with a variety of different Macs. And then when you get up to it, uh, you can unlock. It also allows you to set an auto lock. So as you walk away from the Mac, it'll lock up, which would be perfect for a public computer like yours. Mm. Um, what a great idea. So... Um, Let's see. They Here's just, they just missed a trick, didn't they? Uh, in the keynote, I just thought, you know, that's I when I saw the map that coming out, I was looking for the button. Yeah, looking... but remember how Apple works. They, they <laughs> Apple could do many things. For instance, the NFC. They finally put an NFC in the iPhone, but it only works with pass with the passbook, the Apple Wallet. It doesn't work with anything else. No, um, no. They they and they they will eventually. They just move slowly, um, and they can. But I agree with you. I often look and say, Hey, Apple. Put apps on Apple TV. Hey Apple, let me let me use the NFC for something else besides Passbook. Hey Apple, put a mouse reader, a fingerprint reader on the mouse. Will they do it? Well, only when they get around to it. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.